lantern! There you are! I was wondering when you were going to get here. I've been in here dusting off fossils for a good part of the morning. So, you'll never believe it, but I found this in the comment box that we should add this little fella. Ah, there we go. Into our zoo. One of our visitors recommended him. And after looking him up, it turns out that our little friend can go in with the quagga. Our quagga and zebras are going to have a new pal pretty soon. The, hmm, let's see. <laughs> Savatherium. Which is probably horribly mangled, but we're just going to have to roll with it. So the Savatherium. Mammal, even toad. You. Oh, part of the giraffe family. Well, isn't that just fascinating in turn? Part of the giraffe family? How did that work? Let's see. The largest member of the giraffe family that ever lived. Oh. Necks and legs were much shorter, but... Hmm. Osnacones. This is that point where you have to dig out the dictionary, even though you've been doing this job for years now. You're always learning something new, in turn. Always learning something new. Ooh, seven feet tall at the shoulder. Goodness gracious. The saber-toothed cat may have been its principal predator. Ooh. Well, let's make sure we keep this little guy away from our saber-tooths, then. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. This'll be him. Alright, let's get the genetics going. A little bit of petri dish work in turn, that's all it is. Ah, oh, drop bucket. I really need to start paying better attention to doing these genetics. Oh, look at the baby! Oh my goodness! It's so cute! A little girl! Aww. Let's drop her right in here. Make sure we have something for her to eat. And you know what else we're going to work on today, intern? We've had so much success with the with the Sky Tram. I'm thinking. Let's see. Let's make sure we've got your food all lined up, baby girl. Yep, you pretty much share everything that they they work with. Good. Welcome to the zoo, itty bitty. Oh, she's so cute. So cute. Look at her. Oh. Oh, cutie pie! Hi there! Hi there! Oh! She's hanging out under the shade already. Yeah, you know how this goes. You know how to work this system. It's just perfect for you. You happy? Are you happy? Tina laid an egg! Oh, jeez. Oh, look at the quagga and the zebra walking side by side over there. Mm-hmm. I would say that everybody is doing quite well. The fields of gold. Ah, this is actually a very refreshing enclosure to hang out in. Uh, uh, uh. We just got awarded an award! Transportation Tycoon Low 1 Award. Good work! A reward of moving 100 vehicles on the Skytram circuit. Uh, now we can have two seat Skytrams! Oh, well that's quite useful! I imagine that there's quite a few parent-child pairs that would feel more comfortable. Let's buy a few of those. If they could go together. Oh my goodness! We have a third Triceratops! The baby! What? Oh, what's that? What was that light? Oh! A new zebra's been born! Wow! Everything's going so great! There's our little girl. She's just walking around. I wonder if she gets along with the zebras and the quagga. Everybody's pretty peaceful. Yeah, I think they'll get along fine. Oh, that's so nice. And meanwhile, the triceratops are having some family bonding time. I think we need to hire a new zookeeper. Whoever we have over here is not doing their job. Alright, sir. You need... Let me see. Let's assign you. To this area, please. And if you would be so kind as to also take care of this area and this area. And that should be it for you. There's a lot of poop to scoop, so please get to work. If you need, we have poop scooping 101 classes available over in, uh, hmm, hmm. You know, we don't really have a staff lounge. That's okay. Now, let's see. Well, as I was saying, in turn, the Sky Tram was so popular 
that I'm thinking we should put an actual Jeep adventure right in here. Hanging out with the dodos and our three horn dudes. Strichosaurus. Strichiosaurus? I'll get that right eventually. Patience now. Patience now. Because it looks perfect. They can just zoom around here. It's not too crowded. Most of the animals tend to stay away from this side for some unknown reason, even though there's so much space. I think they're all just busy fighting over, like, some of the stuff over here. Jeez, they've got so many food containers. They're never going to need for food. Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Einstein. Mm-hmm. You doing good, honey? Yeah. Empty nest. We just had someone hatch. Hello, Tina. Hello, Dodo. Are you eating some berries? Eating berries out of your little, uh, little log here? Mm-hmm. Check out these eggs! I think these are used up nests, actually. They've already, already hatched. We might find more critters that we can add in here. Because they're quite peaceful. So let's keep an eye out. I'm not big on adding in critters who are from... <gasps> who are you? Rhinoceros, tropical rainforest... Hmm. You're almost extinct. We focus mostly on extinct animals in this zoo, but I know that that particular species of rhinoceros is almost extinct. Hmm. Ice. Ice. If you turned around, ice, you could reach it. Focus. Focus here. See, everybody's happy over here. We're just rolling in the money, maintaining five stars. Yeah, let's get, let's get a jeep thing going on in here and add a rhinoceros because we want to try. Oh my goodness gracious, why can you not reach these things? The red pandas are going to starve to death. Hello, little one. Ah, sometimes, I swear. It's not that bumpy over here. We should be able to reach everything just fine. But ooh. Hmm. I'm a little concerned. I'm gonna watch. What are you up to? It's about time I started doing staff, like, management by monitoring what you're up to. That's not efficient! Don't run away from me! Oh my goodness. Really? Really? Sir, I don't think you're doing your job. Oh boy. I think you and I might need to have some words. Some words that might invi involve you being fired. Gonna get together? Oh goodness gracious, no wonder they're having issues. Carlson! Breathe in, breathe out. Here's some poop, scoop it. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you just gonna keep doing this, sir? Because if you are... Alright. Obviously you can't do your job. Away you go. Aw, oh, Jean, I'm glad to hear that you really like uh, our, our little itty bitty red pandas. And you're gonna buy something from the gift cart. That's fantastic. What'd you buy? Another hat! I'm sure you need three hats and a triceratops stuffed doodad. You'd be, you'd be good at that. Uh -huh. A nest? Oh my gosh, I can't believe these guys are already like laying eggs. Very cautiously, let's observe this. Get up close. Look, look, look. Daddy's coming. To see what's going on. He's quite excited. And we've got an egg! That's great, guys. I'm gonna get out of your way before you decide I'm yummy. Make sure you've got enough food. Got enough food. And let's get out of here. There we go. Okay. Observe from a safe distance. Oh, yeah. Those guys are happy. This is wonderful, and we're maintaining five stars. I think that there's going to be quite a bit of success. Though lately it's been getting quite dark, and we need to be thinking... This will be for later, in turn, but I'm thinking we need to go through with some lamp posts of some sort. Toss them around here and there so people can see what the heck they're doing and where they're going. But we'll work on that in a little bit. <sighs> Ta -da -da. I'm quite concerned. Panda. Maintain. Taida, are you stuck somewhere? 
you know what? Next time, we'll focus on... Whoa, holy moly days. This is not a clean enclosure, guys. How are we going to install jeeps if all you're going to do is have the jeeps run over poop like this? This is unacceptable. The dodos are quite happy. Did they just lay an egg? Nope, just grooming. Just grooming and family bonding. Good. Still food in that one. All this space, you guys. You can come over here, you know. Almost, almost feel willing to force it. I'm gonna clear out these empty nests. Hopefully that won't make them upset. Oh, those two do have eggs in them. They're gonna hatch pretty soon. So exciting. Oh. What is this? Some sand is spilled into the enclosure. That is unacceptable. You guys don't need to chew on sand. There, that's better. Alright, alright. But let's focus back to the task on hand. Putting a jeep vehicle station. Mm hmm. Okay, Sections road for the jeep. Place a crossing gate. Keeps pedestrians from crossing a road when a jeep is passing. Hmm. Hmm. I just I guess we'll ride for tours and transportation. Hmm. So we might have to chip into their expanded area a wee bit. But I'm thinking Jeep Vehicle Station, like, right here. And then Tour, kind of looping through this area. Yeah, let's try this out. Because we need to reinvigorate this half of the zoo. Everybody's so excited and enchanted with our awesome sky trams. They're not really focusing on what we have to offer over here. Dinosaur gate out. Hmm. I wonder how. Whoop! 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 Oh my goodness! We just got another completed. Dun dun dun! Yet another completed exhibit. Oh my goodness! This will be fun. We'll we'll make sure that we put that in a really awesome place in just a little bit. The extinct education center has been quite successful. Alright, this is going to be quite the adventure. We're going to try to figure out how we can put this down so that people can enjoy their jeep tours but still get into the animal enclosures. Scoot the elephant ear, move the rainforest rock, move it again because we don't want it to block any of the food or anything like that. Yeah, put it over there. That should work. Move this orchid tree. Put it right here. Let's open this up. There we go. Put the donation box maybe a little more like over here. Mm-hmm. Starting to figure this out. Step one, make space for the Jeep tour. That. Step two. Go. Oh ho! I see, I see. It makes a nice little Jeep gate. That's pretty nifty. Oh, gotta move our elephant ear tree. It's in the way. Put it over here. There we go. Yeah, this will be awesome. I don't think we should take it through the red panda exhibit. The red pandas are a wee bit uh, sensitive to that kind of stuff. They just don't care to be interrupted. Yeah, we'll put it over here. Extend the road. This way. And this way. Oh, this is gonna be awesome! Everybody can just enjoy kind of riding through this part of the zoo. I don't know if it would be very smart to let them ride through other parts of the zoo. Say, like, you know, where the velociraptors are. <laughs> Probably not. I imagine it could get quite exciting, but I've seen that movie. I have indeed seen that movie. We don't need to replicate it. No, we don't. Let's move the orchid tree over here. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Where should we lead it? Just stay in here? Loop back? Kind of a boring ride if we just do that. But at the same time, where else?
else would we go? Whoa! Look at everybody hatch! Oh my goodness! Babies everywhere! For now, let's loop it back and then we'll figure out how we're gonna extend it in the future. Oops, made it go a little bit too far. Oh, we can make a loop de loop! Making a loop de loop would be so cool. Boom! And we can have Jeeps. We're gonna buy a few Jeeps. Four Jeeps. Oh, look at the Jeep! Can you... Can you not... Can you not go? Is it too steep? Well, I'm glad we have one of our zookeepers testing this out for us. Whoops. There! Hopefully that worked. Yeah, we got it unstuck now. The good old shovel. That's all we needed. So now people can enjoy a jeep tour. Let's see. And I think eventually we'll have that jeep tour take people off on grand adventures. Come one, come all! We've got a fantastic jeep tour available. Low, low price of I don't even know how much we set it at. Just donations, guys! Donations! We're not even asking money, and you can ride this adorable jeep tour. See dodo birds and other dudes. Ah, oh, I bet if we put the rhinoceroses in here, then everybody will get all excited and show up. Not to mention, there's some other details that we can put in there. Let's see. Pool rock. Yeah, I like this rock pool. We can put it like over here. What else can we... Ooh. What about this? Yeah, let's put this in here. Crystal tunnel. Oh yeah, awesome crystal tunnel. That'll make things exciting. Ah, oh, dude, a volcano. That would be so cool. Fog machine. Mineral deposit, just to, to look at, I suppose. Yeah, cool mineral deposit to look at. A snow machine, just to make things more themed. I like it, I like it. You can really, like, spice up the tour that way. I bet the animals wouldn't mind a music rock or two, just kind of plunked down here and there. Let's put music rock right here. Music rock right here. I want them to be symmetrical, actually, because that's, that's how we roll. Let's decorate it. I'm sure we'll eventually have people just falling all over themselves to get over here and appreciate what we've got going. Yeah. What is this? What is this biome? Grass and biome. Banana tree. Ooh, tropical rainforest biome. Drowning tree. Let's put it over here. How about you, evergreen oak? Actually, I think I want to put one of you because you're kind of cool looking. There we go, and let's put down some awesome flowers. Something to kind of attract people. Come on, come on, Jeep tour. It's available. It is! Train and passable. We'll fix this. Let's see. Let's smooth this out. There we go. Again, the good old shovel comes to the rescue. Wonderful, wonderful. We might have been a little excessive. Let's just start with two Jeep Wranglers and build our way up over time, since we're a little low on tour numbers right now. Check that out. Let's see. Make it exciting for people. Let's put the pond in. We're gonna put the pond. Put the pond over here. Yeah, we can put the pond over here. Just have to move this elephant ear tree. Here you go, elephant ear tree. Mmm. Mmm. What a lovely little pond. Let's make sure we stick lots of ferns on it and everything, too. Where's our ferns? The greenhouse is just starting to carry so many different kinds of plants. It's so exciting. Let's see. Let do a few of these. Yeah, there we go. Alright, guys. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Banana leaf plant versus the banana leaf tree. Let's get some mushrooms over there too. They normally pop up on their own, but it's always good to sprinkle a few spores around to encourage the growth. Oh 
Yeah, look at that. I wonder if there's a little rock we can put in there. It's the details, you guys. The details. Boil rock. It's a scrub rock. I swear, you can tell the difference if you look real close. There we go. Little rock there. Bigger rock over here. Also a big rock. Let's rotate it. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's definitely something for people to look at. Whoop. More space. Come on, little baby. You're okay. You've got lots of space. There you go. You just got stuck. Ah, of course we get pulled away from building new awesome things. What are you doing? What are you up to? Oh, you're just grooming. I thought you were going to... Oh, you're sleeping. Hi, baby. I thought it was going to lay an egg. All excited. I love the elephant birds. Hmm. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think one day we'll have the jeep tour, like, meander over here, and then meet up over here. Maybe we should have taken the sky tour over here, but I think the jeep's going to offer a unique perspective that other zoo-goers have not yet seen. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and respond to this adoption plea for the Javian rhinoceros. We're going to take the, the female and the male. Since they're almost extinct, and I believe in most parts of the world that they now unfortunately actually are extinct, we'll say that they qualify for sanctuary here in our zoo. K-pop tree. Yeah, another K-pop tree. That would be awesome. Now, now, don't hit the rhino. This is what a safari tour is like. You gotta have patience. Gotta have patience while it's walking past. Elephant near tree. Mmm, killy trees. Killy trees are cute too. Drum tree, elephant ear tree, just uh, uh, tree fern. Forgot about the tree ferns. Yeah, I think the rhinos are gonna be happy. This will all work out. Let's put out. Let's see. They like to have. Wow, quite the variety of food. A hollow log with apples, or a substrate pile with apples. Well, let's put out some hollow log with. Yeah, we'll put the apples right there. There we go. Beaky! Beaky, why are you hungry, baby? There's so much food everywhere, my dear. Let's put some piles of food out. Like, just kind of here and there. Little pile over there. Maybe that'll help them out. There. Now it's dark again, in turn. We've been working hard all day and getting this jeep thing in. Nobody's going to it just yet. But hopefully... Oh, look, they're digging into the apples! Well, wonderful! You guys can count. Unfortunately, you're extinct in good chunks of the world, so... They count! Alright! Oh, Elephant Bird 7 has died of old age. Oh! Oh! Where's your stuff? Oh! How did we lose a star? Because our Elephant Bird passed away? Wow, everybody really likes the Elephant Birds. Wow! Well, alright guys! Obviously, we still have a lot of work to do because we're still not maintaining five stars, even though we installed a cool, really cool, I mean, look at all that tripped out we made it, jeep path, but no one's really coming over to the side of the zoo. We might have to check to make sure. Oh, well, that would be why we had a statue blocking it again. Let's store the statue at the back of the zoo for a little bit. I'm just going to tuck it over here to sit till we can figure out where we're going to put it. If you have any suggestions, intern, let me know. I think that we do need to get more elephant birds. They're quite popular here. Maybe another wetland animal of some type. We're getting to the point, we're trying to be purists about keeping extinct species in here. But we'll have to see how it pans out. Yeah, they're doing good. They need a bath, though. I haven't seen a zookeeper come over on this side of the zoo for a little while, so... Let's make sure that there's a gate for easy access. And since we fired the old zookeeper, let's hire this new one. Hello, keeper guy, who's actually a woman. You are assigned to this part and this part. Please scoop the poop appropriately. And just to wrap things up and make sure that everything works, why don't we hop on one of these jeep tours? Wink. Okay, here we are. Keeper guy, excuse us. Honk honk. 
Hong Kong. Thank you. Do do do. Riding by the red panda enclosure. Looking out. Mm-hmm. Look at all this food. There are gonna be some happy rhinos. There's the rhinos way over there. They're apples. You can see they're well taken care of. Oh, look at this beautiful crystal cave. It's gorgeous. Wow. So pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a rhino! Check it out! You can see it up close. Absolutely awesome. All the ferns. Gorgeous pond. Oh, that was a beautiful pond. Really lovely. Excellent choice there. Whoa, a little bumpy bump. Getting some safari feel going on here. There's another rhino! Oh, check it out. I think it's walking the path. Beep beep. Bye! Ah, and here we are. There's people over there. So somehow we just have to convince those people to come and try out our Jeep exhibit. Come on, you guys. You know you want to. But alright, so our Jeep works. We just need to convince people to come to it. And I do think that we'll use it to transport zookeeper or zoo-goers. Maybe zookeepers too, I'm sure it will be useful for them. Over to the other side of the park, like to yank it over here, somehow, across this bumpy, bumpy land, and like, blank, drop people off over here. And the sky tram we might use so people can like hop on it over here somewhere and ride it back over there. So, we've got some big adventures coming up. But for now, why don't we hang out with our giant growing Velociraptor family? <laughs> Look at everybody! Oh my goodness! Alright, in turn, I'm gonna hang out in here and make sure everybody's okay. You go get lunch and we'll talk later. Bye bye